This is Joe Delia with the Live Community bringing you a follow-up video for the external dynamic list that Ryan created before about setting up certificate profiles with the external dynamic list. I'll hand you off to Ryan now to explain. Hey everyone, this is Ryan with Palo Alto Networks. In this video I'm going to be going through the steps of setting up a certificate profile for use with an external dynamic list. In the Palo Alto Networks NGFW, certificate profiles have a lot of uses. They can be used to define certificates and rev revocation check information that can be applied to a broad range of uses in the firewall. From simply verifying the chain of trust in a TLS based EDL like an external dynamic list uh, like we're about to do, all the way to enforcing Global Protect machine authentication, certificate based IPsec tunnels, dynamic DNS uh, verification, uh, agent communication and more. In this video, however, we will simply be going over how to use certificate profiles to check the certificates for an external dynamic list. So first, a little background. Why is a certificate profile important? Well, in this domain list, for instance, I'm pulling up thousands of domain entries here that I'm going to sinkhole uh, in my anti-spyware profile. Um, I have to trust that the source that I'm dynamically pulling this information from isn't malicious or is what I actually intend to pull from. To do that, I use a certificate profile to verify that the cert is signed by the proper intermediate and root certificate authorities. So in order to get started, the first thing we need to do is pull down a copy of the certificates in question. Uh, if I go look and I see that on the page for the GitHub, uh, I have secure, secure connection here. Uh, I want to look at the certificates here. Um, I do that by checking out this view certificate. I see GitHub is signed by this intermediate, is signed by this root. Um, so what I need to do here is that I need to export these two certificates and import them into the firewall. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and right click here, say save as, and just keep it straight in my head. This is the intermediate, and here we're going to export the root. All right, we're going to go into the firewall. We're going to say import, and we'll start with the root. Import that and then we will import the intermediate and as you can see here I'm gonna go ahead and furl up these guys that I now have a root and an intermediate cert one is signed by the other so I should be good there I'll go ahead and click certificate profile add we call this the digi cert profile and I'm going to go ahead and add in the root and the intermediate cert. And then I can also use these if I want to gather all that information. And there's various options here. Um, I can go ahead and, for security purposes, check all that. And then I can go ahead and assign that certificate profile to the external dynamic list by selecting that under certificate profile, selecting DigiCert profile, clicking OK, then finally committing the configuration. As you can see, after the configuration is committed, we no longer have any warnings about a certificate profile being required on the external dynamic list. Uh, that has been resolved, and now we are in a best practice scenario where we are using external dynamic lists with certificate profiles so they do not uh, suffer the problem where information can be injected uh, without one's knowledge into that external dynamic list from a third party that you do not trust. So. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section, uh, as well as any suggestions or any other topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks again, Ryan, for that great explanation on setting up the certificate profiles. Again, if you missed that video on the external dynamic list, I'll make sure that I link it here. And as always, don't forget to check out our other videos that we have. Thanks again for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you're notified about all the new videos that we're producing here on the live community. Thank you very much. Have a great day.